the royal academy paper 1 unit 2 part 2 research aptitude for ugc net 2023 in this class what we are going to see is positivism and post positivistic approach to research positivism and its critics what is positivism positivism is a position in the philosophy of science that emphasizes the importance of observation for the growth of knowledge and thus considers the measurement of phenomena as central to the development of understanding in its more sophisticated characterization however it recognizes the need for a theoretical framework within which to structure data Karl Popper the philosopher of science argued that theories should be tested against data with the intention of their falsification and subsequent replacement with the improved theoretical models in this way science would contribute a closer and closer approximation to the truth of how phenomena work and the causal relations between these phenomena positivism has been widely applied in the natural sciences where empirical observation is used to generate theories and models that can be generalized positivism can be criticized for ruling out various sources of understanding of the world including those deriving from human experiences reasoning or interpretation as inappropriate for scientific inquiry in this number 1 in the social sciences these sources of understanding for example qualitative interview data are of great importance as basis for the growth of knowledge and many areas of social scientific inquiry would be improvised without recourse to such sources because this interpretative work is itself the subject of interest okay then point 2 a second criticism is that positivism ignores context and attempts to establish general generalities independent of setting in social science setting is often an integral component of activity and such cannot be discounted indeed claim to knowledge require full contextualization then third criticism is that a social order emerges from the sense making of human beings that it will be largely contingent upon value perspectives and it is problematic to describe a single truth concerning the nature of the social world finally positivism is committed to removing subjectivity from knowledge growth and thus denies any role for reflexivity among researchers a post positivist research approach in this we are going to see the post positivist research approach advocates methodological pluralism it is based on the assumption that the method to be applied in a particular study should be selected based on the research question being addressed physicist venner heinsberg and niels bohr chipped away at a dogmatic view of positivism turning the emphasis from absolute certainty to probability they portrayed the scientist as one who constructs knowledge instead of just passively noting the laws of nature This is by Crotty, 1998. Their argument is that no matter how faithfully the scientist adheres to scientific method research, research outcomes are neither totally objective nor unquestionably certain. This is also by Crotty, 1998. Now, this view is known as positivism, which view. their argument is that no matter how faithfully the scientist adheres to scientific method research research outcomes are neither totally objective nor unquestionably certain 
okay and this view is known as post positivism or logical empiricism it describes a less strict from positivism logical empiricists or post positivists support the idea that social scientists and natural scientists share the same goals for research and employ similar methods of investigation thank you this is royal academy ugc net 23 and this is the email id and this is my number you can contact for the further details thank you